Well, Pennsylvania has become the center of multiple 2020 election lawsuits. At issue right now is the process of challenging signatures on mail-in ballots. As our Alicia Reed explains, it's just the latest example of how both sides have been turning to the courts on election-related issues. Pennsylvania will potentially be one of the make or break states in the upcoming presidential election, and it has now become ground zero for election lawsuits. At this very critical moment, you're seeing both sides deploying everything that they might be able to deploy because the stakes are exactly that high. The latest state officials want the state Supreme Court to rule on whether poll watchers could dispute signatures on mail-in ballots. This after a Western Pennsylvania judge recently determined mail-in ballots can count even if signatures don't match. Keeping in mind signatures could change over time due to health issues. The U.S. Supreme Court does not have to hear this case. Um, it has sent some signals, though, that make people believe it's possible they will hear this case. In another case, a federal judge ruled against the Trump administration's plea to stop drop boxes, expand poll watchers, and allow a review of signatures on mail-in ballots, saying there was no evidence of fraud. But that may not be the end of it. They could certainly seek an appeal to the Third Circuit. This isn't the first time the courts have stepped in to make election decisions. Back in 2000, the Supreme Court settled the recount dispute in Florida. Five Republican justices halted the count, making George W. Bush president. And there were a lot of questions raised about the legitimacy of the Supreme Court entering into that particularly controversial area. So the question is, has the Supreme Court learned that lesson? Legal experts believe turning to the courts right now is a precursor to even more involvement after the election. Reporting from City Hall, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.